V6N, a lot of new features in there. We did increase horsepower a little bit on this tractor, so we went from 150 to 166. Okay, that's actually 182 max, and that's class leading. We are the top of the class, which is very important when you're trying to blow through truck loads and get the job done. That extra horsepower really helps out. Um, that, uh, that extra horsepower also gave us a bit more push when you combine that with that lockup torque converter. So enhanced auto shift, it's a feature that we've had on the D6T and the D8T. Now we're bringing it down to the D6N. Enhanced auto shift takes that three speed power shift transmission and it lets the operator operate that in the three speed mode, in a six speed mode, or in a nine speed mode. And with our fine speed adjustment, he can actually operate it in 30 speeds. He can have every tenth be an increment, similar to D6K dozer or uh, any high stat type of machine. So it gives that fine speed control that you need when you're spreading that material uh, and you want to get that perfectly fine speed which optimizes the material you're in, the productivity, the work you're trying to get done, and your site. And then we have the one thing everybody will notice which is slope assist. So slope assist is a bit of electronics that helps that operator to react faster than he normally could, all right, and with a bit higher precision and quality. It not only improves his quality of his finish by making sure that it's exactly on grade. It improves the speed and the productivity he's able to get it done because he can go a little bit faster knowing that it's on grade. But it also reduces the amount of inputs that that operator has to put into that system as well. It's included with the machine. It's on every D6 and Tier 4 final coming out of the factory. So that's the power of it is, is we're taking the automation, we're putting it in everybody's hands, not just that, that, you know, that one guy that can afford it, we're putting it in every customer's hands. We've got a sensor on the back side of the blade that determines where that blade is sitting in both a main fall and a cross slope attitude. Okay, so we can tell where that blade is sitting, we communicate that into the operator in the cab and we tell him that he's sitting at a 3% main fall slope and a 2% cross slope. But we can not only communicate to the operator, we can control it now. So since we know what it is, we can teach this blade to be exactly where I want you to be. Okay, so that operator can go in that cab and he can see where that blade is and he can dial in a slope and say, I want it to be 0% main fall and a 2% cross slope because I'm building the crown of a road, all right? He can lock that in, click the auto button, that blade automatically goes there and it stays there for the entire push. Okay, until he picks the blade up, goes back, tries it again. We did design slope assist to be uh, independent of ARO, and we've and we've uh, and we've you know included it as part of the standard uh, machine arrangement, whereas the ARO is an attachment. Uh, but we we wanted to, we wanted it to be on every machine. But yes, that's the intent of it. Is this gets a customer started into automatics if they've never had blade automatics before? This gets them started into that by letting them dial in again that main fall or that cross slope click the auto button and have the tractor do some of the work for them so they get kind of started into the automatics. Once they realize what it can do for them, then they can step up and, uh, and get into a laser system or into a GPS type system and work their way kind of up that, that technology ladder, or up that automation ladder. We did a production study out at PPG. We had an expert operator and we had a novice operator do this. Okay, but they graded out, they took truckloads of material and they spread it out on a road crown, 3% both sides. It reduced the operator input. For the expert operator that really knew how to run that machine, it reduced his operator inputs by 85%.